Hey, Psych2Goers. Do you feel like there's a growing distance between you and your friends? While no one is inherently a toxic person, you can adapt and take on some behaviors that make the people around you uncomfortable and sometimes even hurt. So if you've ever wondered whether your actions are causing your friends to push you away, then here are six signs that you might be a toxic friend. Number one, you don't root for their success. Imagine your friends entering a competition and it's their turn to show up on stage. Are you waiting to cheer them on or do you feel insecure and bitter that it's them on stage and not you? Sometimes your feelings of envy may manifest itself into unintentional ways. You may turn passive aggressive towards them in resentment, or you may distance yourself from them out of shame or anxiety. However, even if you feel upset or envious, know that whatever negative feeling you're feeling is a valid emotion. Instead of inflicting criticism against yourself by fighting these emotions or allowing them to control you, embrace them and practice self-compassion towards yourself without judgment. This way you'll learn to cope with the conflict and in turn, channel it in a more positive way. Number two, you enable them. Do you ignore your friend's bad behavior or make excuses for them? If you allow your friend to do harmful things to themselves or to the people around them, then he may be a toxic friend. While it doesn't directly create an immediate impact, continuously letting them get away with self-destructive behavior can be harmful in the long term for both themselves and the people around them. Instead, you may wanna lend a helping hand and nudge them in the right direction. You don't have to lecture them if you don't want to, but pointing them to the right resources while maintaining an honest and empathetic demeanor with them can help them acknowledge their actions. Number three, you never apologize. Is it hard for you to say sorry? Everyone makes mistakes. You may unintentionally say or do something that makes the people around you feel bad about themselves. But if your response is to tell others to suck it up or not to worry about it without considering how they feel, then you're doing more harm than good for your relationship. No one's perfect, but having humility and the courage to admit your mistakes is a sign of genuine sincerity. A simple, heartfelt sorry at the right time can make all the difference to wash away any repressed dynamics in a relationship. Number four, you dismiss their emotions. Do you make fun of people when they express their feelings? Perhaps you poke fun at them through derogatory comments or say snarky remarks that diminish their emotions. Friendships founded on snarky jabs and light teas are fine and all, but if a friend shows that they're uncomfortable with it and you still do it, then you're not being a good friend. This also holds true in more serious situations where they ask for emotional support, but you try to shift the subject into something else. By doing this, you're sending the message that their feelings aren't important and are better unsaid. Number five, you demand them to give more than you give. How often do you call your friends for help? While friends are supposed to be there for each other, being overly needy can be taxing as well. Being too needy can stem from an anxious attachment personality style and low self-confidence. So growing out of it will require conscious effort. Aside from open and honest communication with your friends, you may also wanna to talk to a professional about it since they can teach you how to learn to rely on and love yourself more, which can help you maintain healthier relationships in the long run. And number six, you're arrogant. Do you gloat a lot about your success? There's a difference between being happy about your achievements and being prideful. If you're too arrogant, you might cause your friend group to feel less secure in sharing their ideas and engaging with you. It may even feel like they're walking on eggshells around you, which is not good for either party. While there's no question that staying true to yourself is important, staying humble and open-minded among your peers is also important to maintain your relationships and to make yourself more likable around others. So do you think you're a toxic friend? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.